Today I'm gonna to be showing you a complete beginner's guide to your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. We're gonna start off with some of the first things that are unique to the Series 5 itself, then we'll be diving into an overall beginner's guide for the Apple Watch in general. So sit back, relax, and we're gonna show you how you can use your new Apple Watch. Of course, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do with the new Apple Watch, one of the big tips and tricks that we have to go in is to start looking at the variety of new watch faces that are exclusive to the brand new Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6. That's what we're gonna be showing you now is some of these Apple Watch watch faces and the complications that go into them, the best customization that you can make. And I highly recommend going through uh, and taking a look at what is possible with these new watch faces right here in watch OS 6. Your new Apple Watch Series 5 comes with a variety of new watch faces as well. Of course, the first being this incredible Meridian face that has the multicolor, obviously it fades away uh, when you're not looking at it as much. You can see it goes from that white to a uh, darker color. Now, what you can do is you can go ahead and customize, you can actually change the dial color itself, right? You can also go in, change from multicolor to red to orange. You can actually set up a certain type of color that you want all of your dials to be. I do like the multicolor though. I think it makes it pop, it adds that extra edge. Then of course you can go through and you can change the individual complications, obviously going through each of these and choosing which one uh, you want. So you could choose the date, you can obviously choose UV, and UV index, you can even add voice memos, walkie talkie. Now another cool feature as well is you can go through and you can actually add in, not just on here, if we scroll through, we're going through a lot of these. Uh, but what we could do is we can actually add in the calculator and that way we can easily calculate tips like we showed you earlier right here from the watch face itself. So that's another great way that you can add that to the complication. Obviously, once you're done, just tap the digital crown. So now we can much more quickly access the calculator where we can calculate tips. So that's the first watch face we wanna show you, obviously the Meridian watch face right here on the Apple Watch Series 5. Brand new to the Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6 is you now actually have the calculator app right here on your Apple Watch that wasn't here before. Now that's not necessarily a hidden feature, but the hidden feature is that you can now quickly calculate tips directly using your Apple Watch in the calculator app. So watch this, let's say you have a $125 meal, you wanna calculate a tip, just press that tip button right up here. And this is essentially the hidden feature and tip that you guys can use. You see here, it gives you the 20% tip it tells you what the tip is. You can also change the number of people to. Let's say you wanted to decrease the tip a little bit. You can use the crown to do that, or you can increase it if you had some good service. So you can see exactly how to tip people right here on the Apple Watch, and you can even divide the bill among multiple people. Let's say you had three or four people there. It'll tell you how much each of you needs to pay. This is a great hidden feature right here in the Apple Watch. It's that tip icon, just type in the number, click tip, and then you can calculate a tip directly here from your Apple Watch. It's that easy. We also have the new California watch face as well. As you can see here, I really like this design. This is a nice blue design here with Roman numerals. So if you go in, obviously you can go ahead and customize it. There's a variety of different ways you can set it up. You can set it up with numbers. You can obviously go through. You can set it up with uh, different you know, types of alphabets that you can go through. Uh, I do like kind of the classic uh, style here, the California style. If we swipe through, you can see that we can make it not just full screen, but also circular. Um, those are the two main options you have here. And then from there, you can of course change the color. There's a wide variety of different colors available. A lot of them with a black background, but you also have a few of these with the navy blue, the cream background. I do like the navy blue though. So obviously you can go through here and then you can change the specific complications like normal. Again, as you know with the Apple Watch, one of the best things is you can change the wide variety of different complications you have right on here. So you can choose the ones that you want the most. You can really just customize it, make it unique to you and that's what I recommend doing obviously when you first get this Apple watch right it's going through and making the complications exactly how you like them because that's the most fun part you can now view Safari websites directly from the Apple watch this is really convenient when you're trying to ask Siri something so watch this salmon recipes I found this on the web 
and you can scroll through, take a look at each of the recipes here, but the new feature is you can actually click this open page button, just like so, and actually get to the web page itself right here on your Apple Watch. So it'll take a couple seconds just to load. And as you can see, we now have the entire recipe from that web page of how to make salmon. It's that easy to go to a specific web page right here on your Apple Watch. Of course, we also have the numerals duo. And as you can see here, this is a nice kind of simplistic blocky design, uh, very simplistic just with the dates. So you can obviously go in and customize this. There's a few different ways that you can have it set up. I like the main one uh, in general. And then you can obviously change the style. So you can see here, there's a few different styles. Uh, I actually like this one where you have the top that's actually filled in and the bottom isn't. Uh, and then you can go through here, you can also change the specific colors, obviously customize, make it unique to you. And there you go, you can obviously customize this one as well. There's not as many customizations just because of what it is, uh, but this is another great watch complication right here on your Apple Watch. I definitely recommend testing out the brand new voice recordings app right here on your Apple Watch. You can actually now do voice memos directly from your Apple Watch, watch this. All you have to do is tap the record button to record voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. And click stop and as you can see, you can have all of the different recordings that you do that you can play back, even send off to your devices. You can share it here and you can also delete as well. So that's the way that you can actually store voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. Of course, we also have the gradient Apple Watch face, which I love because obviously as the hands move, it changes where the gradient is. I just love the simplicity of this, the way that it looks, uh, right? It's one of those things that is very simple yet elegant. Uh, and obviously if you click on it, you can go into the gradient itself. You can change the color. Uh, obviously it comes in a nice red uh, by default, but there is a wide, wide variety of different colors here. I like some of these, oh, a nice royal blue color. You can go through, you can change the style, right? So you can see that we have different ways that you can have the gradients. So you can either have the three gradients or less gradients like so. Then you can go through, you can change it. You can not just have it full screen, you can have it be circular, right? So you can change uh, how you want it designed. And then obviously there's not complications in the full screen version. But if you were to switch to the circular, you can actually add the complications around the watch face as well. So that's important to remember. If you switch to the other version, you can add the extra complications. I just love the way that this gradient one works. Let me know in the comment section below what your guys' favorite uh, watch face complications are. Uh, I always love to hear from you guys and see what you guys like the best. Another new app for Watch OS 6 is the Noise app. So this actually allows you to measure sound in your area and actually hear how loud the noise is. That way you can make sure that you're protecting your ears, you're staying away from dangerously loud noises that could damage your hearing. So this is a very unique extra app right here on your Apple Watch. Another great new watch face is the solar dial where actually the center watch face moves around uh, the watch face as the day goes on. There's a lot going on here, yet it still looks very elegant. You can obviously go through here and customize it yourself. Oh, need to wake it up there. There we go. You can go ahead and customize it yourself. You can actually switch from an analog to a digital time as uh, the part of the watch face or the complication that goes around. So this is a good kind of middle ground. I do like the analog better though. So we'll switch it back to analog here. And then of course you can change all the various complications around the watch face as well. I think this is a really great style. You can see here that this looks very fancy, very complicated here. Um, yet it still has that elegant feel, right? There's a lot going on, but it also looks great at the same time. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this video on the best tips and tricks for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. We have many more tips and tricks coming up very soon. But first, I wanted to show you an incredible app that lets you earn money just for completing simple surveys. Uh, they're the sponsor of this episode, and we're gonna show you how you can start earning money today just by taking simple surveys on your phone. So now I'm gonna show you how you can get this incredible app in order to earn cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys on your iPhone. So open up your mobile Safari browser and go to this exact URL. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y 
slash get quick thoughts, just like this, bit.ly slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K. T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. And the link is also down there in the description as well. And then click go. Be sure to go to this link. It helps to support our show, but it will also make sure that you get the best surveys and rewards right here on Quick Thoughts when you download it and be able to get those additional bonus missions right there at the beginning or bonus surveys uh, to be able to sign up. So go into Quick Thoughts and then click open. And then as you can see, you're able to get the Quick Thoughts app. This app allows you to complete surveys, earn rewards, earn cash, gift cards. You're gonna go ahead and click sign up at the bottom left. And then as you can see, they love opinions. Click register and then click agree to the terms and conditions. And as you can see here, Quick Thoughts has already given out over $21 million to members. That's absolutely incredible. You can earn cash rewards just for using this app. So click begin earning rewards, fill out a couple of details of your information just so they know a little bit more about you so that they can serve you the best surveys. And that's what you're gonna be able to use right here in Quick Thoughts. Uh, and as you can see, you're gonna be able to click begin earning rewards and get your piece of over $21 million that they've given out. Now, if we go back to the App Store, you can see a little bit of what that looks like. As you can see, you can earn rewards just by taking really simple surveys. And a very simple survey could earn you a few dollars each and they also have different missions, surveys that you can do. There's all kinds of surveys in the Quick Thoughts app and you can cash out right away once you've gone through and completed the survey. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. They're our sponsor for this episode, but it's also a great win-win because you're going to learn how to earn amazing cash and rewards just for completing simple surveys right here on your iPhone. Enjoy. All right, so thank you for watching my video on the best hidden features for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully, you guys have found this video valuable. You found some great new hidden features. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys found this valuable. Share it with your friends. And I definitely, definitely recommend taking a look at Ebates, Rakuten. Obviously, you can save money shopping online that you do anyways. But when you go to bit.ly, bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, you're gonna get a 10 dollar bonus just for shopping at one of these stores you earn the cash back plus the ten dollars i mean look at that 15 percent back at kohl's and you get access to all the coupons six percent at macy's there's a wide variety of different stores uh, right here and it helps to support our show but also helps to support you that way you can actually earn cash back whenever you shop online. So hopefully you guys found this valuable and you learned a lot more about what you can do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Enjoy your new watch and I'll see you guys on the next video. Of course, we also have the modular compact just like this. As you can see, it's got the day view down below with the weather, what it's gonna look like. You also have at the top, obviously, your watch face itself. You have a few different uh, complications in here as well. There's a lot of different things you can change. You can change it, of course, to digital or analog. And then if you scroll through, you can see that we can change the color. Uh, obviously, I like the one that has the white background because I think it pops, right? Kind of adds that extra element. Then, of course, you can go through and you can change the different complications. Down here, you have kind of the wider complication, which is interesting because you can actually set this up not just for the weather each day, but maybe for the UV index each day, right? Or the wind each day. So there's a few of these different ones that you can do. There's also some other ones as well, like stocks, right? Uh, different reminders, uh, these wide screen complications that work really well right here uh, in this modular compact watch face. One of the first things you may wanna do when you get your Apple Watch is make sure that the text size and brightness, that all meets your standards. So you can see here, you can actually change the brightness, the default brightness on your Apple Watch to actually increase it even brighter right here in your settings. So you just open up your Apple Watch app, then you're gonna to go to brightness and text size. You can see here that you can actually increase the brightness keep it at the normal rate, or even decrease the brightness, and that might help save your battery life as well. So this is up to you. One of the things that I like to do though is I did go ahead and increase that brightness just so I can make sure I can always see my Apple Watch, especially on a bright day. Now you can also increase or decrease the text size if you want. So as you can see, that's gonna actually increase the text size on your device. You can even make it bold to make it a little bit easier to see as well. That's all right here in the brightness and text size settings of your Apple Watch app on your iPhone.
One of the other first things you're gonna to wanna to try with the new Apple Watch is actually tapping the screen in order to get it to tell you the time. So just tap with two fingers and it'll tell you the time. 5.41 p.m. Just like so. It's a really cool feature that they've now added with the brand new Apple Watch. You can have it say the time whenever you wanna hear 5 it. 5.41 p.m. Just like that. So with your Apple Watch and the screen always being on, that is a great thing. But what you can do is you can decide to hide sensitive complications from your watch face, right? And so if we go here into your Apple Watch and we go to brightness and text size, and then you can see here that we have always on, the Apple Watch face is always on, so that's the watch itself. And of course, you can obviously change you know, the brightness, text size, all of these settings right in here as well. That's something you'll probably want to customize. But what you could do is go in here, and as you can see, the watch face is always on, which is a good thing, but you might wanna hide sensitive complications. So if you choose hide sensitive complications, then uh, data such as your calendar appointments, your heart rate, that could be hidden when you put your wrist down like that, right? When you're not looking at it. That way, other people can't get, catch a glimpse of your sensitive information. This is definitely a hidden feature you're gonna to wanna to look into, especially if you're concerned with somebody seeing something that you don't want them to see. This next feature is a little more serious, and I encourage everybody who is watching this right now to set this up just to be safe. Uh, this is emergency SOS, and hopefully none of you watching ever need to use this, but this could save you from a dangerous situation. So I recommend everybody watching this right now to set up emergency SOS. You're gonna go into your Apple Watch app on your iPhone, click on emergency SOS, and as you can see here, you wanna make sure that you enable automatic dialing. You wanna turn this on. It might be off by default. You wanna turn this on, automatic dialing, in order to call emergency services if you press and hold the side button. And you also wanna turn on fall detection so that Apple Watch can automatically call emergency uh, services if it detects that you fall. Now, again, it will give you a slight warning beforehand. So it'll say, hey, or do you really wanna do that? Like, you know, if you're, if you're conscious, right? You can say, hey, no, no, this is a false alarm. But if you're unconscious, it will automatically call emergency services if you fall and you have the ability to hold the side button. Now, the reason that I recommend everybody watching this turn that on is think about that. If you find yourself, hopefully you never do, but if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, all you have to do is press and hold on that side button to call emergency services, or if you take a fall and you can't press and hold that side button, the Apple Watch will automatically detect that you fell and call emergency services on your behalf. So I really think it's better to be safe than sorry. That's why I recommend going here into your Apple Watch settings, going to Emergency SOS, and enabling both the automatic dialing by holding the side button and fall detection. Hopefully you never have to use this, but I encourage all of you to set this up just in case, just to be safe. It's Emergency SOS right here for your Apple Watch. Those are the first things you're gonna to wanna to do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Now we're gonna transition into some footage I shot on a previous Apple Watch, showing you step-by-step -step how every part of your Apple Watch works, from taking it out of the box to each individual component. This is a comprehensive guide that I'm about to show you right now. First, we're gonna show you how to connect your Apple Watch to your iPhone. If you've already done this, you may skip on to the next chapter. All right, so first off, you wanna make sure that you have an iPhone running iOS 8.2 or later. For these demonstration purposes, I'm using my old iPhone 5S. However, you can of course use your iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or even 5. Now, make sure that you have the Apple Watch application installed on your phone. It should have auto-installed with the latest iOS update. Now, if you do not have the app, go into the settings, go to general, software update, and make sure you're up to date. If not, you can download and install the latest iOS software right from the screen by clicking download and install. It will take a little while, so we recommend plugging it into your charger while that happens. All right, so the next step is to go into your Apple Watch and press and hold the side button right here. 
So this is the side button, just press and hold, and as you can see, you will see the Apple logo pop up while it's turning on. Once done, you'll be greeted by a screen that asks you to select your language. Choose your language, and then to start pairing, pick up your iPhone and swipe up to access the control center. Once you're in the control center, make sure you turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. After you've done that, go into the Apple Watch app and click on Start Pairing. Now you want to click on Start Pairing on your Apple Watch. You're going to use the camera to locate your Apple Watch to instantly and easily pair your Apple Watch to your iPhone. Click Setup as Apple Watch. Now you're going to choose on which wrist do you wear the Apple Watch. Choose left or right depending on what your personal preference is. And it will calibrate and set up the Apple Watch according to that preference. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions by clicking Agree. And then you are going to enter your Apple ID password. We'll come right back once I've done that. Now you're going to select whether or not you want to turn on location services. Now this is very important. Just click OK. Siri, click OK. Diagnostics, do you want to send automatically diagnostics from your Apple Watch? You can choose OK or no. So I'm going to choose automatically send and I'm going to click OK. Now you can actually add an Apple Watch passcode from this screen. To create a passcode, click create passcode but that will require a passcode on your Apple Watch. For the video purposes, I'm not going to use a passcode, but you can of course always go back and change the settings, which we'll show you later on in the video. Now install available applications. You're going to want to hit install all if you have a lot of applications that are functional with the Apple Watch. I'm going to use choose later for now because I'll show you how to download the apps later on in the tutorial and the Apple Watch is currently syncing and it'll notify you once you are ready. We're going to skip past this part. Once it completes, your Apple Watch is ready to go. All right, let's continue on to the next chapter so you can learn the basics of the Apple Watch. When the Apple Watch is completely powered off, to turn the Apple Watch on, you need only press and hold the side button to see the Apple logo, which will inform you the Apple Watch is turning on. To completely power off your Apple Watch, you need only press and hold the side button, followed by sliding the power off toggle. To turn on your Apple Watch when it's asleep, all you need to do is bring it up close to your face. Or if that doesn't work, say it's in a different position, you can just tap to also wake up the Apple Watch. Now to put the Apple Watch to sleep, you need only drop your wrist down, and you can't see it really well, but as you can see, the Apple Watch is turned off. Now we're going to talk about some of the different components of the Apple Watch. Of course, we have the display in the front, but we also have something very unique on the side here. This is the Apple Watch Digital Crown. Now this allows you to scroll and zoom in using the little slider on the side. It acts kind of similarly to a regular watch knob. Now in addition to that there is a home button that you can press. This acts as the normal home button that you might have used on your iPhone. So here's how this works. The home button just by pressing the front will allow you to go all the way back to your main area where you'll see all of the different app icons. You can also press it again to enter back into the clock face. Now a single tap will enter you in and out of your application view and your clock face. A double tap will send you to the previous application that was open. In my case, settings. Double tap again, go back to the app prior to that. Now you can actually press and hold to activate Siri. Like so. The side button also does some very important things on your Apple Watch. One press of the side button will bring up your favorites, so you can scroll through them in order to contact them individually. So say you have one favorite you wanted to contact. Just press on them and you can actually give them a call, message, or you can actually send your heartbeat or other pictures if they have an Apple Watch as well. You can exit out of there using our home button. 
Now if we double tap, we can access Apple Pay. I don't have any cards set up right now, but we'll show you how to do that later on in the tutorial. And then of course, pressing and holding will bring up the menu that allow you to power off your device. You can hit cancel to cancel that action. One more thing to note, the Apple Watch doesn't just respond to regular touches and taps. It also responds to something called force touch, which is when you press and hold more firmly on the screen. This allows you to access a whole different settings menu. So just something to look out for when we talk about it later on in the tutorial. You have a speaker, microphone, and of course the heart rate sensor, which will monitor your heart rate while you're doing exercises. You can also take off the bands using these little buttons at the top and bottom. So all you have to do is press in on the little button and just pull the band out from side to side, like so. And as you can see, the band comes right out and you can of course slide it back in. You can do the same thing with the other band and it locks right into place. So just press the button and slide right out. The Apple Watch has a very unique charging port. What this allows you to do is take this Apple Watch charging terminal and just stick it on the back of the Apple Watch. Now the other end is going to allow you to connect it to your regular wall mount, right like so. And as you can see, you can plug this right into the wall to charge your Apple Watch easily. You can of course just take off the magnetic strip or put it back on with ease. It's that easy to charge your Apple Watch. Now we're going to show you some important features and settings for the Apple Watch. As you can see, you can access the Apple Watch home screen just by pressing once on the digital crown. Now to move around the home screen, you need only press and hold your finger to swipe around. Just move your finger around and you can see the different applications that are available. To open up an app, just tap on the application. For instance, this is the email app and I can quickly read some of my emails. To go back, Press the digital crown. To enter the previously entered app, just double click the digital crown to go right back to that app before. Now to rearrange your app icons, all you need to do is press and hold on one of the app icons, at which point you can pick up the app icon and move it around. So if you want to have your mail application a little bit closer to your clock, you just need only to pick up the mail application and bring it over to a spot right next to the clock. So as you can see, I'm able to easily and more quickly access mail like I would normally want to, right there. You can also more easily adjust your home screen on your watch by going into the My Watch application, clicking on App Layout, pressing and holding, and then moving around the different icons. This will instantly affect your Apple Watch and it's that easy and simple to do from either your watch itself or your phone. In order to adjust the brightness and settings, you're going to want to go into the settings application and then you're going to scroll down to brightness and text size. This allows you to increase the brightness, there are three different notches, or decrease the brightness. I like to keep mine on the medium setting in general. You can also change the text size here. If you'd like it a little bit bigger, that might make it easier to read. Or you can have it smaller so you can add more text on each page. You can also add bold text, which is a cool feature if you want something a little bit easier to read. Also in the settings, you can adjust the sound and haptics. Now the sound, you can adjust whether you would like it to be loud or softer. You can also mute the device so that it only taps you when it receives a notification. You can scroll down to see the haptics to see how hard it will actually tap on you. You can adjust that to see what kind of tap you like on your wrist. To access Do Not Disturb, Airplane Mode, Mute, and Ping Your iPhone, all you have to do is swipe up and then scroll to the left until you see the Connected tab. This is going to allow you to turn on and off your Do Not Disturb, which makes sure you receive or don't receive notifications on your Apple Watch. You can also turn on airplane mode if necessary, but give it a little bit of time to connect once you turn it back off. You can also turn off sound, but that will keep your haptic on. The haptic is what taps you. 
So to completely turn both sound and haptic off, you can select the do not disturb. Now, say you lose your iPhone or you don't know where it is, you're in a rush. Just push this button and it's going to instantly ping your iPhone. Really simple to find your iPhone. You could do it as many times as you need. From the same glances menu, which is the list of different quick view applications, you can swipe over to see your current battery life. As you can see, we have 66% remaining. Now there's something really cool called power reserve. Now, Power Reserve is great for reserving your battery when the battery is low. Now, it's going to continue to display the time, but all of the other apps will not be available to use. Now, to access this mode, which is very convenient if you're starting to go low on battery but you still want to have your watch face, all you have to do is press and hold on the side button like so. Then you're going to swipe to enter Power Reserve. From Power Reserve, it's only going to show you the time, and that is it. That will reserve a lot of battery, but it also means you can't access anything else, even from here. The only way to get back everything is to completely restart your Apple Watch, because as you can see, if you turn it on or tap it, all it's going to do is show that. Now, to get back to all of your other settings, you have to completely restart the Apple Watch. Unfortunately, you cannot access anything else other than just restarting the watch. As you can see, once that restarts, it brings you right back to your normal Apple Watch functionality. Now we're going to show you how to customize your watch face on your Apple Watch. To customize, all you have to do is press and hold using the force touch. Now, there are a few presets which you can either customize, use as they are, or you can even create your own. So as you can see, we have Utility, Modular, Simple, Motion, skipped over one, Astronomy, Color, Solar, Chronograph, Mickey, and Extra Large. You can also create your own watch phase in here as well. Now, for this purpose, we're going to show you how to create your own, but of course you can choose one of these watch faces or even customize it however you like. So we're going to click on New, and we're going to choose what type of watch face we want. We can use the digital crown to select the watch face. Now, I like the Utility, so I'm going to click Utility. From that, I can hit Customize. As you can see, I'm first able to customize the detail. So how much detail do we have? Do we have no numbers? Do we have a lot of numbers? Do we have even the different seconds listed as well in minutes? Or we can take down all the detail away. It's that easy with the simple digital crown. So I like all the numbers but no minutes. So that's good. I'm going to swipe over to the next. Now we can change the color. So you can choose uh, what type of color you would like for the minute hand. So as you can see, we do have uh, our standard red, we have a gray, we have an orange. I like the orange color, so we're going to do that. Swipe over. Now we can choose what we would like uh, to display for the date. So as you can see, um, I'm going to have Friday the 15th. And then that is what you need to do for that. And you can choose over here up at the top what you want at the top left. So you can actually swipe through. So let's start it off. We have off. There will be nothing there. You could have the date there. We already have the date. You can have a calendar. You could have the moon phase, sunrise, sunset, the weather, activity. You can have an alarm that you have, a timer that you have, a stopwatch. You could even have the battery if you want to have the battery listed there. You can also show a world clock in different locations. And those are all of the different options that you have. I'm going to have the battery because I like to be able to see what the battery is. We go over here, you have the same options. So I definitely think the weather looks pretty good at this side. At the bottom, instead of the calendar, and actually this is really cool because you can have uh, even more spelled out words, so uh, the larger words at the bottom. So let's scroll through here, let's see. 
uh, the weather actually has a lot more. So I think I'm going to keep the partly cloudy weather up at the top here. And for this one, I'm going to change it to my activity. Now, when I start using the health applications, I'll be able to quickly see what my current activity is from there. So once you're done, all you have to do is press the home button, and then your watch face is completely customized when you click on it. As you can see, I now have a custom watch face the way I want it. This is what the standard utility watch looks like. Next, we have the modular watch. As you can see, that's what it's going to look like. I just want to give you guys a little view so you can uh, decide what you want. The simple watch is going to look like that. Now, of course, you can customize some of the different areas on it, but this is just the base what Apple comes with. Motion is going to have a pretty cool butterfly in the background. We have astronomy, which I definitely like this one. It's pretty cool. Color, and in the customization, you can, of course, change the color of this watch. Solar, which shows where the sun is at that current point in time. Chronograph, which has a lot of different features all built into one. Mickey, so you can have Mickey Mouse show up as well if you want. And extra large if you are uh, somebody who is a minimalist, you just want the extra large to show up here, this is good for you as well. And of course, like we showed you before, you can create your own, like the utility that I created. It's completely up to you, and there are so many possibilities with the Apple Watch. When you have a red dot at the top of your Apple Watch screen, that means that you have unread notifications. Now, if you had instantly gotten those notifications, you'd be able to see them right on the screen within about a minute of receiving them. However, if you wait a certain period of time, they'll appear as a red dot. All you have to do is swipe downwards, like so, so that you can read all of the different messages that you just received. As you can see, Tristan just sent me a message, want to grab a bite later. Now to deal with this message, just click on it. So you can read the message, and you can either dismiss or reply. To reply, just click on reply, and it'll actually come up with quick and easy responses based on what it thinks the text is saying. So I can just click yes. I can send a smiley face, or I can even dictate text for Siri to send for me. It's that simple and easy. Let's go back in here. Sure, I'll drop by later. Hit done. And you can actually either send it as audio or text. I like what the text says, so I'll just click on the text right there. And off it goes. Emails also show up in the notification section as well. As you can see, you can just click on it to read it instantly. Now, this notification is that Ebates sent me $50 via PayPal. Now, if you aren't familiar with Ebates, it's a great service that lets you earn instant cash back and rebates on all of your online purchases. Now we're going to take a quick break to look at Ebates because they're actually today's video sponsor. We'll be right back after the quick break, but I really think you'll benefit from Ebates. They even have their own iPhone app that works very well. We'll be right back after the break. To start, go to bit.ly slash appfindebates. Make sure you use that exact URL. You can see it on the screen or look in the link in the description. Since you used my URL, you'll get access to an exclusive gift card bonus, either $10 Macy's, Walmart, Target, Kohl's, or $5 in PayPal cash or a check. Now, you can join using your email or you can conveniently sign up through Facebook. Now, what does Ebates let you do? Well, Ebates gives you instant cash back on purchases you would make online anyways. As you can see here, you get 16% cash back on over 150 different stores. Yes, that includes Amazon and eBay. So as you can see, here's our example, American Eagle. You get 16% cash back and you even have access to exclusive coupon codes as well. 
Now, 16% cash back means if you spend $100, you get $16 back. That's amazing. As you can see, it'll bring you right to the website where you can make your purchases as you normally would. Once you're done, you'll instantly get your cash back in your Ebates account for 16% cash back. Now, to get the referral award at the beginning that you saw the $10 gift card or $5 in cash, all you need to do is spend at least $25 on one of your regular sites you would have purchased from anyways. It's that easy and that simple with Ebates. If you're not using Ebates, you're leaving money on the table. Ebates can help save you money and find you great coupons and discounts you wouldn't otherwise have access to. And it's that easy to sign up at bit.ly slash appfindebates for a free $10 gift card or $5 in instant cash once you just purchase $25 through Ebates. It's a great service. I highly recommend it. All right, back to the Apple Watch Complete Beginner's Guide. All right, we're back. Be sure to check out Ebates. It's a great service, and I use it to earn money every month. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit more about all of the different glances you can access. So the first glance that we have is the one we explained earlier, which will let you turn on your airplane, do not disturb, uh, or even sound settings. We're going to turn do not disturb on right now because we don't want uh, anybody disturbing us while we're making this video. You can swipe over and access the music settings. Here you can play, pause, go forward or backward on your music, and even increase or decrease the volume. You can play music that's on your iPhone or even music saved locally to your Apple Watch. Swipe over again and you can see your heart rate. Now you can see what our battery life is. You can also instantly go into power reserve from this screen as well. The next glance is your activity app. We'll show you how to set that up a little bit later on in the video. Next we have our events. So I don't have anything tomorrow or today. Then we have our weather which is going to show you what the current weather is like in your town or city. Swipe over again, you have access to the stocks. Swipe over again, and you have access to maps. We're not going to load that because we don't want to show you exactly where we are. Swipe again, and you can actually see world time. You can choose different world times to show using your Apple Watch app application on your iPhone. And those are all of the different glances that we have. You can, of course, swipe back up to access your main lock screen. Now we're going to talk about our alarms, timer, world clock, and stopwatch. Let's go over to our alarms. As you can see, I don't currently have any alarms. I can tap and hold firmly to bring up the new menu, click new, and I can draft a brand new alarm. Now this works very similarly to your alarms on your iPhone. You get to select the time, whether or not it repeats, whether or not uh, your, what your label is, and whether or not you allow you, yourself to snooze. You can turn this off so you don't even have the ability to snooze. Which is a good feature if you know that you're one of those people that just hits the snooze button instantly whenever you wake up. Once you've done that, you can add the alarm and you're good to go. It'll set the alarm off right here on your Apple Watch. Let's exit out for now. Next, we're going to show you your timer application. Let's go over and click on timer. Now what this is going to allow us to do is set a timer for however long we'd like. We can choose the minutes, say we want five minutes, just hit start and the timer will start. Now note, the timer will actually keep counting down when you exit out and go back to your main clock view. Another cool feature is that you can actually include the timer at the top right if you press and hold click customize and say we wanted to change uh, the battery settings instead of having the battery we can just use the the digital crown to go all the way back to our current timer make sure that's all set exit back out go back in and now we can see our timer at the top left next we're gonna turn off that timer and then show you how you can use your world clock feature. Now the world clock's all the way over here with the world clock icon. Right now it currently has Cupertino and New York set. You can choose different world clocks to show on your iPhone. We'll show you how to do that later on. And finally, 
we have our stopwatch functionality. Now there are a lot of great stopwatches in here. If you press and hold, you can choose an analog, digital, graph, or hybrid. We're going to keep it on analog for now. Start, stop, you can even add laps. It's that easy and simple. It is a great stopwatch application. Now let's talk about how to use messages on the Apple Watch. Tap on the messages icon. As you can see here, you can see your most recent messages and you can tap on that to see the conversa conversation. Now if you want to reply, just scroll down, click reply and send another uh, message. You can even send some different emojis that you would like. Now we actually have cool animated emojis as well. So you want to send an animated emoji, just click send and there you go, you're ready to go. It's that easy and simple to send either animated emojis or text using the Apple Watch. You can send text, you can even add uh, using Siri. So let's actually hit done on that. <laughs> hit cancel on that one, let's redo it. Reply. Yeah, let's definitely hang out later. You can actually send it either as audio or as text, like so. If you want to send a new message, just press and hold using force touch. Then click new message. You can choose your contact, create the message, and then send it very easily. That's how to use messages on your Apple Watch. Email on the Apple Watch is a breeze. Just click on the mail application and you can go right into your emails. Now you can click on an email to read it and read a brief blurb of your email. Now unfortunately, you do need to reply to the emails using your phone. However, there's a really cool feature available here. If you have an email open on your smartwatch, your Apple Watch that is, you're going to go over to your phone and in the left hand corner, the bottom left hand corner, swipe up. And once you input your passcode, you'll be brought directly to that email. This is called hands off and it is a great feature available on the Apple Watch. So let's bring back up the Apple Watch over here. We're still in the email. We can go back. Now you can scroll through all of your different emails and if you want to, you can actually swipe left to archive. Now I'm not going to do that right now. Now you can also open up other emails. You can press and hold to flag is important, mark is unread, or even archive. Of course, you can press outside of it if you don't want to. As you can see, it's very easy and simple to use your email on your Apple Watch. Handling calls in the Apple Watch is very easy to do. We're going to wait for a call to come in, then we'll show you what to do. When you get a call that comes into your Apple Watch, as you can see, you can see who is calling. You can either deny the call, accept the call, or scroll down. You can send a message or even answer on your iPhone. If you click answer on your iPhone, it'll hit hold and you can answer it directly on your iPhone. Now over here, we're going to be able to answer it. Hello? Hello. I'm actually filming a video right now. Can I call you back later? Yeah. And that's all you got to do. As you can see, the Apple Watch is great at allowing you to quickly answer phone calls, especially when you're out and about on a run or in an area where it's a little bit difficult to whip out your phone. The Apple Watch makes keeping track of your events a breeze. If you go into the main home screen, you can scroll over to the calendar section. Now this is going to show you all of the different events that you have for any given day. Now I actually have uh, a site that I like to get some stock images from, no it's not a promotion, uh, Pond5, and I have that set up for, um, I think it's every week or so, whenever they come out with their new free stock, uh, stock files. So whatever you happen to have on your calendar, it'll show you what you currently have for that day. Now another cool feature is you can actually include your calendar directly on your watch itself by pressing and holding customizing, and then choosing the calendar option. 
So if you use the digital crown, you can go to the calendar and see what is next. Now that actually already occurred, so there's nothing left on my calendar. However, it's really cool to see if you do have a different appointment uh, or something that's very important. Now another thing to note is there are no reminders currently on the Apple Watch. However, you will still get the notification in the notification center if you have a reminder that needs to come on, but there is no, there is no reminders application directly on the watch itself. One of the main reasons people get an Apple Watch is to use the health and fitness tracker. Now to activate this, swipe up and go over to the glance that has set up the activity app and click right there. Now it's going to tell you a little bit about activities and their three daily goals. So stand, stand for at least one minute of every hour. Move, hit your personal calorie burn goal by moving more and exercise, accumulate 30 minutes of activity at or above a brisk walk. Stand, move, exercise. So you're gonna hit get started and you're gonna fill out this little quick profile. We'll be right back once I've done that for myself. Once you hit continue, you'll be able to tell the Apple Watch how active you are on average. So once it's completely set up, you're gonna be able to see your different activity. You're standing you're gonna be able to see the different calorie burn goals, um, such as moving and exercise. Now, if you swipe over, you can see how many calories you've burned, you can see how many minutes of exercise you have, and how long you've been standing, the amount of standing in the past 12 hours. Now, you can also monitor this using your Apple Watch application on your phone as well. Now, if we exit out here, you can also see there's a smaller version at the top right, which is why I like to keep this on my Apple Watch screen. Again, you can just tap and hold with the, uh, the force touch to customize that and add it to your watch face. The workout app allows you to manage individual workout sessions. So as you can see, you can choose outdoor walk, outdoor run, cycle, indoor walk, one cycle, elliptical. So whatever you choose, you can set your calorie goal, you can set the time, and then you can start. So you can actually start your exercises using the movement application. To set up Passbook and Apple Pay on your Apple Watch, you're gonna go, need to go over to your iPhone. Now, go to My Watch, and then Passbook and Apple Pay. So as you can see here, you can either set up your own credit card or you can have it mirror your iPhone. Now you can add different credit cards or debit cards from the screen to make sure that it's set up with the easy Apple Pay on your phone, on your, your Apple Watch that is. Now to access Apple Pay when you're in a store, just double tap and then it'll access Apple Pay so you can contactlessly pay for your different purchases at select stores. Now to access your passbook, go into the home screen and then you're going to go over to the passbook application. As you can see, we just got to swipe over to the passbook, click on that, and then you can see all of the different cards or passes that you have in the passbook application. In the Apple Watch Maps application, you're able to zoom in and out using the digital crown, like so. You can also press and hold in order to search for nearby locations, or you can view your contacts to use Find My Friends to see where they currently are so you can go and hang with them later. You can of course use the location settings on the left to actually access your location to show you exactly where you currently are. From here, you can also find directions and you can send directions over to your iPhone. Now we'll take a look at some other default applications. The first is music. Now in music, you're gonna be able to see you're currently playing songs, artists, albums. Uh, you can actually even store songs on your Apple Watch if you'd like. Now we'll show you how to do that a little later on when we get more in depth 
on some of the settings. Now, right now you can actually stream music over to your, either your Apple Watch or even play it on other sound systems that you have hooked up. Next, we have remote control. Remote control allows you to instantly control either your computer, where you can actually control iTunes, or you can control your Apple TV to change the channel or go and search for different things. Photos application lets you view different photos that you have. You can use the digital crown to look at them and zoom in. Stocks lets you see all of the different stocks uh, in your area. You can, of course, change those on your Apple Watch app. Your weather application is going to allow you to see the current weather in your area, which is very convenient and easy. And those are all of the basic stock applications included in the Apple Watch. Now we're going to show you how to download third-party apps onto your Apple Watch. So you're going to want to take your iPhone, right, and go over to the Apple Watch application. Now you can go over to search to search for different apps or you can view featured applications. These are all of the best applications to download. Now we're actually coming out with a video very soon on the best Apple Watch applications. So stay tuned on this channel. Be sure to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with the latest applications and more. So let's say we wanted to get Twitter. Make sure that you've already purchased Twitter and have Twitter downloaded. Once you've already done that, you can go back to the My Watch category, scroll down until you find Twitter listed as one of the applications that is compatible. Select Show on Apple Watch. And that will actually install it directly onto your Apple Watch. As you can see, Twitter is installing. And now I can open up Twitter right here on my Apple Watch very easily and efficiently. So I can view the top trends and more. That is how to download the applications. Now to delete the applications, you'll scroll over, press and hold, and then you're actually going to be able to get an X. Like so. Click on that X and choose Delete App. Now please note, if you delete the application, it will still stay on your iPhone unless you separately delete it. And you can always re-add it by going into Show App on Apple Watch. Alternatively, you can delete it by deselecting this option as well. Now another cool feature, now this is amazing, it is the Glances feature. So if you want to show Twitter in glances, and you can choose the glance type, so recent tweet or top trend, we're gonna keep top trend for now. Now, when I go into my normal glances, right, I'm in the normal watch face, swipe up, now I have a Twitter glance. So I can swipe by all of my different glances, and now Twitter is one of those glances as well. That's how to install and delete applications on the Apple Watch, and how to add their easy to use glance as well. We already showed you Ebates, which is the amazing application that lets you earn instant rebates whenever you shop online. But what about when you're shopping in grocery stores? Well, our second and last sponsor for the episode is Ibotta. So this next app allows you to earn cash back whenever you shop at grocery stores. It's incredible. You can earn instant cash back just for shopping at your favorite stores. You can also stack this with coupons you might usually use or just use this on its own to earn cash for shopping. And you'll get a $10 bonus when you use our link, uh, which we're gonna show you exactly how to use. You might as well at least get the bonus. So we're gonna show you how this works. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up your mobile Safari browser open up a new tab like so, and you're going to go to this exact URL. It is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, slash get Ibotta bonus, just like this. B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-I-B-O-T-T-A B-O-N-U-S. You have to put in that exact URL to get that $10 bonus just for signing up and scanning your first receipt to redeem 
your rebate. So you can click the link right down there in the description. We've also have it up on the screen. It's bit.ly slash get Ibotta bonus. That'll make sure that you actually are able to get this bonus. As you can see, Ibotta has over 688,000 ratings, solid five star. You can't get better than that. This is an incredible app that helps you save money. As you can see, you can earn real cash thousands of retailers across the country uh, you can earn cash back at just for shopping in store. So once we have this Ibotta app downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up. Now you can see here that we have the Ibotta app loading just like so. And as you can see, you can get cash back on everyday purchases. Now, because you used our link, you can actually join and get a $20 welcome bonus. So it usually is $10, but because you used our link, bit.ly slash get Ibotta bonus, you can go ahead and get that $20 bonus right there. And then we can go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and sign up for the account and show you inside Ibotta. So as you can see, now that we're in the app, you can see just how easy it is to earn cash back. You can see you actually earn cash back on things like Lyft and Uber rides, Best Buy $10 cash back on limited time deals, 6% at Amazon. You can scroll through here, there's a wide variety, but it also lets you save cash back at different stores as well. You can kind of swipe through here, 75 cents at Uber. I mean, that's easy if you use Uber anyways. Chobani yogurt, $1.22. So let's say you wanted that, you just click on it, you could say here, you could see that you could buy the Chobani, you know, Greek yogurt, pumpkin and spice, which sounds good. Go ahead, click plus, and then you can add that to your cart. And then when you actually go ahead and purchase that item, then what you're gonna be able to do is get that $1.22 back. All you have to do is scan the barcode and the receipt and you'll get that cash back. And remember, just because you used bit.ly slash get I bought a bonus, not only will you get the cash back for whatever you're going shopping at, you're also going to go ahead and get a $20, an elevated $20 bonus just for redeeming that first cashback rebate at any of these stores. You can see there's a wide ride here. Now let's take a look at Walmart for a second here. So let's say you were going into Walmart, you had some things you wanted to get already. They have some of these any brand deals. So you can see any brand of toilet paper, 25 cents back. Any brand of waffles, Pop-Tarts, 50 cents back, right? Hot Pockets, any brand of diapers, any item, just submit a grocery receipt, 10 cents back. These are things that you're going to buy anyways, you have a family, or even you're just shopping for yourself. You can see here that there's a wide variety of different things. Kleenex, a dollar back, right? You can scroll through here, Oreos, Bagel Bites, Pancake Mix, Colgate, right? These are name brand items you would have bought anyways that you can go ahead and get cash back for. But here is a great uh, secret. You can go ahead and use that any item grocery store receipt or the any item, you know, toilet paper, whatever you happen to be buying, you can use this any item grocery receipt, scan the receipt for the cash back. You can see this is available, not just at Walmart, but Wegmans, Target, a wide variety, Stop and Shop, CVS, right? You can use this in order to get that cash back, but also the $20 bonus for signing up using bit.ly slash get I bought a bonus and then scanning your first receipt and earning your cash back. Now, let's say that you don't have a family, you don't, you don't shop as much at grocery stores, you can even do this at convenience stores like 7-Eleven, Kmart, uh, you know, CVS. So let's say we wanted to search for CVS. So we search up here for CVS like so. See that we have CVS. We click on CVS in store, and you can even get this for things like gum, a uh, variety of different things at CVS. I'd have to scroll through and, and find them, but there's a wide variety of different cashback options that you can get, so you don't have to go grocery shopping to do this, uh, but obviously that's an easy way to get that. So you can get instant cashback and a $20 bonus by going to bit.ly slash get I bought a bonus link down there in the description and on the screen and just redeem your first cashback rebate. Enjoy. So we're gonna briefly talk about the friends feature on your Apple Watch. This is when you hit the side button and you can view all of your favorites. Now the way to do this, and you can have up to 12, is these are all of your favorites in your normal phone. So it's very easy to set up. All you have to do is go to your phone, contacts, click on their contact, scroll down and choose add to favorites. Then they'll show up here. Now on here, you're gonna be able to call them, send them a message, or if they have an Apple Watch, send them your heartbeat or a little emoji, which would be right in the center. 
It's really cool and really easy to use, and I love being able to quickly access some of my best friends or favorite people that I need to contact. We already briefly touched upon the hands-off feature, but I wanted to show it to you one more time to make sure that you completely understood how it works and that it works on multiple applications. So you can access this through notifications or different apps as well. So let's just say we wanted to go into our uh, health application. Now we can access hands-off if our phone is currently off. We can pull our phone up over here. As you can see, in the bottom left-hand corner, I can swipe up, enter my Touch ID, and it'll bring me right into the activity tracker very easily. Now the way that works is whatever you have open on your watch, you'll be able to instantly use hands-off to open it up on your phone. Using Siri on your phone is as simple as pressing and holding the digital crown button and asking Siri to do something. For instance, you can ask Siri something like, what kind of things can I ask you? This will actually show you a list of the different things that you can ask Siri. This is a great way to realize what you're able to ask them. Remember, when you're scrolling, you can use the digital crown as well. As you can see, there are a lot of different things you can ask Siri on the Apple Watch. Finally, we're going to show you a very brief video on the settings. These are all of the settings you can change on your iPhone your, itself. Now you're going to open up the Apple Watch application and let's walk you through everything. First, we have My Watch, which is going to show you all of the different settings on the Apple Watch itself. Now, Explore has a couple of different videos by Apple, but we thank you for checking out our video because we believe that we are the ultimate source for everything in one video. Now, be sure to share this video with your friends and like it if you've enjoyed it. Just have to make my quick plug, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, go over to Featured. This is going to show you some of the featured applications you can download or search. You can search individual applications. Now, remember, you do have to install them from over here. And AppFind has our new Apple Watch Best Applications video coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. All right, so first off, we do have our app layout. As we showed you before, you can just pick up and move all of the different uh, icons wherever you'd like them to be. Airplane mode allows you to uh, mirror your phone in terms of airplane mode on here. Apple Watch itself will tell you a little bit about your Apple Watch and will allow you to unpair it if you'd like to pair it with a different device instead. Notifications allow you to show uh, whether or not you want the notifications indicator, which is the red dot at the top. Notifications privacy will make sure that there's not as many details. And you can see different notifications for different applications. So you can actually choose for the activity what notifications you want to see. You can go into all of these applications and uh, turn on and off their various uh, notifications. So as you can see, there are different applications for all of our regular apps. I have a lot. Uh, but you can turn these on or off depending on whether or not you want a notification on your Apple Watch. Next we have Glances. Now this is going to show you all of the different glances that you have. You can also see glances from different applications that are compatible with the Apple Watch. You just have to hit plus and add those to your Apple Watch as well. Do Not Disturb will allow you to mirror your iPhone in Do Not Disturb. Now, general is going to allow you to do a software update uh, when one comes out. Automatic downloads. You want to automatically download your applications that are compatible with your Apple Watch. This is up to you, whatever choice you want to make. Watch orientation, left or right wrist. Accessibility is going to allow you to see voiceover, zoom, grayscale, bold text. Uh, reduced motion means it's not going to move around as much. Uh, you can actually reduce the transparency, turn on and off labels, uh, change the uh, the mono audible uh, audio, I mean, and accessibility shortcuts so you can view all those different things. Language and region, you can send send your uh, or change your language, change your region. Apple ID, you can change that. Whether or not you want to enable hand off, hand off is when you're able to open up whatever you're using on your Apple Watch on your iPhone. Wrist detection is when it uh, detects if you have it up like that and when you have it down. 
Now you can also activate uh, on wrist raise. Now this is a pretty cool functionality. You can actually have it resume the previous app or show the watch face. I like show the watch face, but if you want to have it open on the previous app, you can choose that instead. That's a cool function that you need to know about. And in the usage, it'll show you how much uh, everything is using, what your storage is, and then reset will allow you to reset the watch itself. Brightness and text size, you can change that from here as well. Sound and haptics, same thing we talked about before. Passcode, you can turn that on and set up a passcode for your Apple Watch if you'd like. Health will allow you to input your different information. Privacy is going to allow you to, uh, whether or not you track everything, Apple tracks everything. Now down here you'll be able to uh, activate different things in regards to your activity, calendar, clock, contacts, friends, mail, maps, all of the different applications, their settings are all available down here as well. So those are all of the main settings. You can of course look at each app and each of them have their own individual settings. Thank you guys for watching this video on the Apple Watch. Hopefully this video made you more of an expert on how to use your brand new Apple Watch. There are so many possibilities and so many amazing things you can do with your watch and hopefully we showed some of these in this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below and I'm sure someone from the AppFind community would love to help. Also, like this video and subscribe. If you guys learned something today, we've got a lot of great content on this channel, including the best applications for the Apple Watch, which is coming very soon. Now we also recommend sharing this video with your friends so they can learn how to use their Apple Watch as well. And download Ebates and Ibotta if you get the chance so you can save a little money either grocery shopping or when you're shopping online. Hopefully this showed you everything you need to know about the Apple Watch. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.